Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Shreyashi and I am a software engineer by profession and I like to make videos on skincare, travel, lifestyle and food. So yes, today I am going to share with all of you all my March favorites, all the things that I used, saw, um, bought and uh, yeah, all of such things and uh, I am really 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 excited. Most of these things are bought basically beauty and skincare and bath and body and all of those things so without further ado let's get started first things first i am going to start with my favorite skincare products for the month of march and uh, i have two favorites this month one of this is this beautiful beautiful um laneige Cera peptide toner so laneige has their cream skin refiner which i wanted to use since a really long time but uh, now they've come up with this upgraded version which has ceramides as well as peptides so this really really hydrates your skin it locks in the moisture it provides you i think they claim it provides 108 times more moisture than regular moisturizer and uh, ceramides again ceramides are going to pre uh, restore your skin barrier they are going to if you have you know damaged skin barrier they're going to restore it and make it look better and uh, peptides again help you fight against fine lines and wrinkles and all the signs of aging so it's like the best of both worlds it's like this milky toner all you do is take some on your hand slather it all over your face and uh, it honestly if you're going out in the more daytime and in this heat you really don't need any moisturizer you can just slather it maybe once or twice and apply your sunscreen and you're good to go that's that's how wonderful this is it makes your skin so dewy and hydrated and moisturized another favorite is this moisturizer by dot and key this is their ceramide skin barrier cream um, i definitely love to use skin barrier repair moisturizer i also like the requil uh, skin barrier moisturizer and this dot and key again hasn't disappointed me it is it has five essential ceramides similar to do use do you also has five ceramides five ceramide complexes and this one also hydrates your skin to the t i have very dry skin so i really really need to put on all the hydration as much as possible and um, yeah this this works wonderfully it also has rice water um, which is a, an excellent ingredient for your skin so these are the two of my favorites skincare for the month. Now coming on to body, you know Bath and Body had their sale going on and I love Bath and Body Works. I actually bought quite a few products but most of the products have been I've like used before by me but this is something new that I bought. This is their new range, it's called Luminous and uh, I wanted, I actually did not smell it before. So I wasn't sure how it's going to smell. So earlier I was ordering the lotion, the body wash and the mist. But then I decided that I haven't smelled this. So what if it doesn't suit me or what if I don't like it? So I just decided to order the perfume mist. And I kid you not, this is an, this is so, so, so beautiful. I mean, I just like want to put it on on my whole body because this is so beautiful. Um, it reminds you of spring it reminds you of roses um and actually you know what Malcolm's uh, La Vie Belle is my favorite perfume one of my favorite perfumes and this genuinely reminds me of that I also have that and I uh, sprayed it on and then I sprayed the Lancome on and then I was like it's almost the same fragrance um, just that it's a mist body mist so it won't last longer on your body but yes if you like the Lancome's La Vie Belle you're definitely definitely going to like it if you are like a little bit of floral person you know in summertime springtime you want to put on you know, florally fragrances this is excellent so I, this is one of my favorites so yeah that was it for my favorite body product this month now is my favorite food or dessert so you know i keep i'm a foodie i like to try different cuisines different stuff um you know mix and match of things you know anything new is there vegetarian i am definitely going to try it so i'm a big foodie like that this month i went to maharaja bho it's a famous premium thali chain in here in pune and they have their mango festival going on and 
I kid you not. Like all of the things were amazing, but there was this mango palak char. It was so tasty. I honestly loved it so much. You can see. Um, I'll put up a clip. I am eating the mango palak char. I loved it. It had the palak char, but instead of the imli or salt ki chutney, they added mangoes, mango chutney. and it was so good so i i had like i think two or three plates of it i was like just keep keep giving me the mango palak chutney because that is something i had not tasted before previously so yeah that is supposed to be my favorite food of the month if it shows this is my most favorite part i watch a lot of shows on netflix prime um hotstar and depending on what is currently running and you know what i'm a big reality tv fan okay So one of the my favorite shows reality TV shows was airing during this month it started in i think january and then it continued to air and then it ended in march and it was the real housewives of beverly hills season 13 oh my god i live for the drama that is there in the show i love all the ladies so much i mean kyle and uh, erica being my favorites so and You know, I have watched all the seasons, starting from season one to season thirteen. I've watched everything. So much involved in their lives, their life stories. What's going on? What's going? Uh, what will happen next? What's going on with the kids, their family, their spouses, their love life, their career, everything. I want to know everything. That was one of my favorite shows. I've been waiting for the re- next season. Actually, um, they come up with a new season every year. So this was season thirteen. Now I'll have to wait for another year for season fourteen. And the second uh, show, which I really loved, which was one of my favorite, was uh, Buying Beverly Hills season two. So, backstory. the lady kyle who is in real housewives of beverly hills her husband is on buying beverly hills season 2 and buying beverly hills because he is a real estate mogul basically he sells a lot of beautiful and big properties like in millions 50 million 60 million properties in la uh, he has this whole agency which is called the agency and he has offices all over the world so it's a reality tv on that basically selling of properties and all but this season also involved a lot of their personal struggles that they've been going through which was shown in real housewives beverly hills also so that was from kyle's perspective and over here it was from mauricio who uh, is her husband basically currently is her husband they've been separated but not divorced yet so it's from Mauricio's point of view and then there were kids also so i think that was something that kept me involved completely engrossed in the series and uh, in the show and i loved it as i said i'm a big reality tv fan so i love dubai bling i love bling empire i love the kardashians and the keeping up with kardashians and um, so so many so many there are uh, selling sunset selling the oc so all of these are my jams so if it's the same taste as me hit me up we can be friends <laughs> and the third thing that i watched was i'm also a very huge k drama fan um i like this show which is called doctor slump although it was a little bit um boring in between but yeah i mean i still um uh, enjoyed watching that show because it was so 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 um amazing uh, the cast was amazing the storyline was amazing because it's usually i know a lot of k drama is mostly just lovey dovey cute but this had really had a lesson to it so uh, if you want something meaningful to watch something meaningful it's really nice so watch doctor slump talking about shows let me also talk about my favorite movie this uh, month so i watched king richard so it was such a beautiful positive inspiring movie it was based on the life of venus and serena williams father richard williams and this movie was so positive in a way that it tells you that if you have thought of something if you want to achieve something in life and if you make it a point that in your mind you feel it in such a way that you, there is no other option for you to apart from winning or apart from reaching your goal and you just need to be very positive you need to visualize you know the power of visualization all the things that he used to say to his daughters um even the daughters started behaving like a champion right so it's so important that you 
behave like a champion if you want to be a champion or if you 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 need to start behaving like someone you want to become right unless and until you do that i don't think um, there is any other way right hard work everyone puts in and you need to put in the hard work but you also need to have a belief a uh, such a strong belief that no way this cannot happen this is something you definitely going to achieve so it was a really inspiring and motivating and a positive movie so i really recommend you to watch king richard on netflix also all the other three shows they were also on netflix so yeah netflix we are going on next is another movie that i watched was murder mobile it was a funny um a little bit mysterious movie but i enjoyed it it was fun uh people have different reviews i, I it was good. like people some people are like them it was nice but you know i personally enjoyed it um and i had fun watching it so yeah these were the two movies that i actually these were the only two movies that i watched this month that and i liked both of them yeah that was it and i think i also watched fighter yes i watched fighter as well it was nice i loved the pick up artuko so no bad thing to say i loved fighter okay, next is my favorite book of the month usually i read two or three books in a month um march was a little hectic i had different things to do so i just read one book which was this which is called same as ever it's by morgan hazel the same person who wrote the psychology of money and it's a wonderful book it says timeless lessons in risk opportunity and living it this is one of the books where they will tell you that no matter how much forecasting of future forecasting can we do how much we want to predict the future how much we want to make sure that you know our future let's see how our future looks like or let's see how our future can turn out to be but historically if you see the stories and the incidents and the uh, data that has been uh, extracted from history it's always that the circumstances change but some behaviors of human psychology remain the same the way humans behaved uh, back in the 1940s and back in the 1950s or maybe much before that it's the same how human beings are going to react to a situation so instead of trying to forecast your future on our make sure or understand lies in your future you maybe want to try to understand your patterns um how you behaved in a certain situation and how can you probably behave in a certain situation again so i think that's what this book talks about and it's it's really interesting because it shares a lot of tiny stories he lo- loves stories i think morgan because even in psychology of money he has so many stories and anecdotes to share and similarly in here each story brings in a lesson with it so i think it's a must read it's a excellent book and uh, yeah i mean i will do a book review on this as well but um yeah that was it this is was my favorite book of the month same as ever by morgan house favorite amazon buys so i bought i actually like all of us all of us buy so many things on amazon you know it's so convenient so i also bought something which i wanted since a really long time and uh, which was this uh this is this is ceremonial matcha from tencha blends it has 30 servings and this is a ceremonial grade matcha so there are two kinds of matcha ceremonial grade and culinary grade ceremonial grade is a premium grade and culinary is a lower grade usually culinary grade people use in um, you know recipes but for if you want to drink matcha uh, you need to get ceremonial because the, it's the highest and the most premium grade matcha and uh, it's less bitter than the culinary grade and this is what i'm currently drinking i have been loving iced matcha lattes lately like i think i've spent way too much money on buying it from outside so i realized that this is not very beneficial financially also because um you know it costs a lot i mean a iced matcha latte if you go somewhere to a coffee shop they take what 300 400 bucks so i really wanted to start making it at home and this is something that i don't drink daily also right i mean um i'm not a coffee or tea person i don't drink coffee or tea regularly but when i like it i go ahead and drink it it's not like i don't drink it for health purpose it's just that i don't feel the need to drink it but this matcha latte ice matcha latte has been uh, my go to drink for 
now and I made this at home. Um, let me know if you want this recipe. I will make a shot and upload it for you guys. So yes, this is the Tencha uh, Matcha. Tencha Ceremonial Matcha. This is 30 servings. This is something that I bought and I'm loving it. I am just enjoying making my own iced matcha latte two or three times a week and just enjoying it. The next thing that I bought, it's this. Oh my god, this look at this beauty. This looks so 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 beautiful. This is made up of steel. This is a tumbler, and uh, this is in a steel insulated tumbler, and it's so gorgeous. This is from a brand called House of Quirk. I got this on Amazon. So this is like a dupe. You know, you can consider this a dupe of the very famous Stanley Cup, and. Uh, those who know Stanley Cup, they know that it's not available in India. It's very expensive. I don't think I'm ready to spend so much money on a cup or like a bottle, say the least. But this, this is so beautiful. The color is oatmeal color. I love it. It, it comes with two straws. Uh, it also comes with a straw cap so that if you're not drinking and if you're taking it outside, you can just cover the straw with a cap so that it doesn't get dirty. And it also is spill proof. So, you know. It has it is full up uh, filled with water. Of course, if I completely spill it, then yes, from the straw it can come out. But it's completely spill proof, and uh, I love the color. This is 1.2 liters, so I think if I drink two of these or maybe three of these, I'm good to go. And uh, since it's so lovely, I really like to carry it around. And uh, yeah, I, I just enjoy this beautiful tumbler. Yeah, these are the two things that I bought from Amazon and have been my favorite buys this month and yeah this was it i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below and i'll be really happy to help until then please like share and subscribe and please take good care of yourselves Bye.